Hey everyone, welcome to the Pursuit of Living Well. Times two today. I am sitting here in my meditation room wearing my Brooklyn crown, my Zumbo crown. That stands for down under the Manhattan Bridge overpass, so you know. So I want to share uh, an extra step to today's lesson that I think is important and it's just a little step but goes a little bit further and helps us understand this lesson a bit more. Today's lesson was my holiness is my salvation and it's all about loving our unloving thoughts and that's what saves us because our unloving thoughts those things within those things within us are keeping us from our salvation our salvation is our holiness our holiness is that love that keeps us in alignment with god and at the end of the practice period it concludes with a statement that says if guilt is hell then what is its opposite if guilt is hell then what is its opposite and that would be well love and heaven and those are two different vibrations and guilt is the vibration of fear and in separation and separation again is not a real thing it's just a separation from that flow and it's a real emotional feeling that we have as if we are disconnected from source and it's when we feel all those negative feelings so to bring us back into a centered balance into a feeling of wholeness into that love vibration in which we can call heaven as opposed to hell. Hell is all those negative vibrations and heaven is all those love vibrations. And so when we love all of our unloving thoughts, which is sometimes hard to do, and when we bless our unloving thoughts, which may be even harder to do, it doesn't necessarily mean allow those unloving situations and people back into our lives. So I want to share with you this meditation that this woman taught me a couple summers ago. Her name is Angela Holton and she teaches out of Bermuda. Her practice is called Love Sanctuary. And she taught me this really great meditation, and it's about walking through this door. Through the door is this long corridor of all these other doors on each side of the corridor. And on each side of those doors are doors we want to open and doors we want to close. Situations and people that we can choose to keep open and we can choose to keep closed. And so as we walk very consciously down this corridor, we can think about those unloving thoughts and situations that were brought up today during the practice periods, and we could choose to either keep those open or we can choose to close them. And if we want to keep them open, we can reframe our mindset about the situation and by giving it love, as we did earlier, maybe we can find a new approach to how we handle or communicate with that person or situation. And if we want to keep it closed, then we are giving ourselves a message to have some boundaries when it comes to it, or to not give as much attention when it comes to it or to just protect our own energy around that person. We have this sphere around us, this aura, this magnetic aura that attracts. I don't know if you've ever tried Kundalini, Kundalini Yoga, but there's a whole science about the human aura. It's, it extends out about nine feet outside of us. And in that nine feet range, we attract and we collect the energy of others. So we can choose to be very conscious of what we allow within nine feet of our energy. 
And sometimes that's hard when we live in an inner city or when we're in a close, uh, when we're in close proximity of others, when we're in close spaces. But when we're observant and we're just calm, collected, and centered, we can send out this vibration to our aura to just send these vibes away. Stay very grounded, stay very balanced. Keep the door closed. Stay centered, send love, send blessings, because the more love and more blessings that you send, you're gonna transform that situation and that person's not going to get a reaction out of you. And therefore, they're either gonna walk away and they're gonna get bored of it. Maybe they're going to turn around, they're gonna respect you in some way or something is gonna change. When you change, the things around you change. So that's the meditation for today. If you wanna to add to um, your final practice period tonight, after the five minutes, just imagine yourself walking through that door, down this long corridor, however many doors you see, however many situations you see, look both ways, what do you see there? Do you want to keep it open? Do you want to keep it closed? And close the door. Consciously close the door. Look the other way. Do you want to keep it open? Do you want to keep it closed? Do you want to keep it open a little? Do you want to keep it wide open? Whatever. The choice is yours. But the purpose here is to be in control of your life. Have boundaries. Don't let the world around you control you. Don't be the pinball. Notice the energy of others so that you can respond accordingly and control your own energy so that you're not that pinball. It's a beautiful meditation and I want to thank you, Angela. I love, love Sanctuary. I remember doing this meditation when I was on the beach in Lake Michigan. It was the summertime and I was so anxious when I did it and I was just like, and all these situations about what to do about all these different things. And it just helped me. Like, you know what, I'm closing the door on this. I'm sick of this. You know what, on this, I'll keep it open. On this, closing. And you know what, it just, it helped me stay in charge and it helped me prioritize. I'm a huge empath. I give my energy out way too much. You might be too, and if you are, this meditation is definitely for you. So, I hope this helps you as well, and thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow for the next lesson, and P.S., I have mixed up some of the days, as you might have noticed. Um, tomorrow's number 40, which I've already recorded, so you're going to be seeing number 41 tomorrow, and then we'll be caught up the day after. So. Anyways, have a wonderful evening and I will see you next time.